This is Carrie Smith, dysphagia, and we are going to do um, some sensory motor integration techniques. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use an ice cube, sort of like an ice finger, um, to try to facilitate you to purse your lips. I'm just going to go around the lips here. Okay, and the other side. Okay, now say ooh. Ooh. Okay, very good. All right, the next one is going to be sort of the opposite. We're going to do some lip retraction. Okay, again with the ice cube. One, two, three. Now say E. E. Me. Me. Okay, all right, good. All right, um, the next one is we're going to do, this would be something that might be used with the stroke patient. Um, it is to stimulate unilateral weakness. We're going to pretend that your weakness is on your left side here. Um, and so, again, we're going to use the ice cube for that. Okay. Just look there towards the camera. All right, going uh, around the mouth again. And then stimulating the side of weakness. All right. Okay, good. And it looks like that actually elicited a response, so that was good. All right, so now we're actually going to go inside the mouth um, for a minute. This is what we're going to work on is palate reflex triggering. Um, this is something that would help with inducing a swallow reflex for someone who um, is having a hard time initiating a swallow. So go ahead and look. Come a little bit closer to the camera. Okay, just open your mouth. Okay. I'm going to try to see in there. You can turn towards me a little bit. No, okay. Go ahead and, and look forward. Open up. All right. Put your head back a little bit. All right. Just one, two, three. All right. Just for a few seconds there. Okay, good. Now swallow. Good. All right. All right. The next one, similar thing. Working with the palette. This is the last one on the palette. Um, we're, again, using a frozen swab um, to help kind of stimulate and facilitate movement there. This is to increase palatal reflex triggering. Um, we're going to start on the weak side on the left side. Go ahead and open up again. All right. So it goes one, two, three, and swallow. Okay. All right. So the next one is going to be to increase tongue-based retraction. Um, that is, uh, again, to help move the bolus down the throat. Okay, so um, this one requires a little bit of pressure. So I've got um, a frozen metal wand here that we're going to use. Okay. Oh, look towards camera, open up. Okay, and one, two, three. Okay, great. Swallow. All right, and this one I'm just going to fill under your uh, uh, tongue base here so that um, I can see if there, we're feeling any movement. I'm going to go back to the frozen cotton swab, and this is to, um, again, encourage tongue brace, base retraction. Okay, open. Get a little bit closer to the camera. Okay, and I'm going tongue down, please. Just down like that a couple times. Okay, great. All right, now we're going to work on some tongue curling. Um, stick your tongue out as far as you can. Okay, I'm going to come down the middle there. See if that encourages some tongue curling. There it goes a little bit. All right. Let me try that with this wand and see if we get a better response. All right, go ahead and open again. Tongue curling. Okay. All right, again, this is, um, let's see, this one is to reduce um, elevation in your posterior tongue, that's the back of your tongue, um, if there's, you know, difficulty at lifting the tongue, or if there's difficulty having the tongue too high in the back. All right, back to the cotton swab here. Open, alternating, we'll go one, one, two, two, three, three, down the middle, and you can see it start to uh, create that divot in the middle. 
So that's good, and it, it lowered. All right, this one is to elongate and elevate the tongue tip. Okay, we're not gonna be in the middle this time, just working on the side, stick your tongue out further. All right, good. And I'm gonna do that one again. I'm gonna use this wand and then I'm gonna do it right at the end, um, just from the tip of the tongue, brush it upwards. So let's try that again. Okay, stick your tongue out. One, two, all right, and lift your tongue up. There we go. Okay, good, so that's working on the tongue tip elevation. All right. Another exercise with that, okay? And one thing about this, we wanna use fast, quick strokes on these because it is facilitation. Um, and if they're a little uneven, that's fine. If it were inhibition, it would need to be a little more steady, steady but um, so, okay, let me go ahead and stick your turn out again. One, one, two, two. And lift your tongue, okay? Let's do that again. Take your tongue out. One, one, two, two, and lift your tongue. Okay. All right. Um, this one goes on the underside, so we don't want to use anything too cold. Um, not as cold as the the metal wand. Go ahead and lift your tongue up. Okay, and don't rest it on your teeth. Just stick it out and lift it up a little bit. All right. Perfect. And. Perfect, okay. We do that one again. This one involves a little bit of tactile pressure. I'm gonna do that this time. Tongue up, okay. All right, perfect. All right, and the last one we're gonna do is gonna to be to reduce lingual deviation on protrusion. Again, this might occur um, with someone who's had a uh, CVA or a stroke or something that would cause uh, deviation to one side. So go ahead and stick your tongue out. Okay, and we're going to go here, here, and then from the weak side to the strong side. Okay, let's do that again. This time we're going to use the wand and we're going to lift up on the tip if necessary. Stick your tongue out. Go in here, here, to the side, and then lift your tongue. There we go. All right. Thank you very much. This has been Carrie Smith um, doing a dysphagia sensory motor integration techniques.